Hi everyone, my name is Marvel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. If this is your first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so when I release a video, you get it. Without further ado, let's go straight to today's video. Okay guys, what's going on around the farm? So please bear with me here because there is a lot to talk about. I'm gonna be playing a clip of what's going on throughout the video, but this is also as important as the other parts because I want you to have a clear idea of what's going on rather than just watching a video not knowing the purpose at all all right that being said okay first of all let's start with the pigs those of you that have been following my channel for a little while you probably know that I have started pig farming back in 2019 when I flew to the Congo you know I was able to get two pigs a female and a male I have not built my own barn yet to keep the pigs however uh, one of my guys uh, actually who also has happened to be the ones that played a huge role helping you know when I got my farmland he owned a house like seven kilometer from my farm from where my farm is located and he had offered to let me use his place because he used to have pigs as well but he sold all of them because he couldn't keep up right so what I ended up doing actually I you know renovated the place so I had the pig staying in there you know a couple months goes by the female pig gets pregnant or whatever gave birth to six piglets which I'm also going to be showing you throughout this video so you know stay tuned for that and I'll give you the updates as far as you know their growth and everything like that at this phase I, I'll, I'll say things are working out pretty well now speaking of the pigs it's been a couple of months since the female pig has given birth to six piglets right so now her hit cycle just happened a couple of weeks back there's chances that she's pregnant again which means we are going to be expecting more piglets in the near future but that rose challenges though so this one of those challenges is that you know when a pig gets pregnant you have to remove her away from the male pig because her presence next to him will keep him going and as a result of that she will probably end up uh, you know losing the pregnancy so we don't want that to happen we want them to multiply putting me in an, another obligation to fix one of the next room right next door which makes it for me an emergency to go ahead and build the pig house as quickly as possible the construction is about to start really really soon although i would want to personally be there physically but while i'm still preparing my trip so since this is this one is an emergency i probably don't have much of a choice to or have it done from a distance while I'm still here but I will probably be there sooner rather than later all right so speaking of which uh, I've, I've have launched already that this year I got two major projects that I'm going to accomplish within the farm so it's actually part of my new year's resolution as well I said that I am going to be building a borehole before the end of the year and that's going to happen real soon and building the pig barn you know what I mean so the pig house needs to be built especially with the situation that I am facing right now that one has to happen no matter what all right as far as the piglets the piglets as you can see from the you know from the video they're doing fantastic like I told you guys when you're getting into this farming thing in order for you to make money you gotta spend money but the only one concern though about the piglets is that yes they're doing fine they're, you know physically they're, they're healthy and everything but I cannot have all six of them slipping on the same room so they need to be separated so everybody needs to have their own space so when they feeding and it can grow even faster that's why this all you know putting all of these issues together is making it such an emergency for me to build that pig house like ASAP so moving on okay guys you know we got maize uh, from my last video if you guys remember I told you that I had well you know we are growing maize we got about five acres of maize that we are growing currently within the farm so this was a couple probably a couple months ago but as we speak right now I have the pleasure to show you the maize that you that was barely growing these are the results that we have so they have grown they fully grown now they're even ready to sell so like at the moment we're speaking we're already making arrangements and discussion on how to proceed with the selling and everything so my mom came up with an idea that we need to dry them all out 
and sell it to make even more profits or we can just sell them like that so i have not yet made my mind on it but i'm still thinking about it but i'm probably will be taking my mom's advice because everybody told me that's probably the best approach so i will be sticking with that so keep in mind it's five acres and the maids are doing fantastic of course we had a few that did not do well but the majority that we have planted are successfully growing amazing so that's a win-win right there and we as we speak uh we are making arrangements on the transportation as well so we are going to probably uh be renting out a truck to come pick all of this up take it to the market for the sale so all of that event is being planned and i will have a cameraman go on the field film all of that so you know make sure you turn on the bell icon like i said so you don't miss out on all of those videos so everything is really taken care is taken care of and is really being taken into consideration there is nothing here that we're going to leave out okay and one thing also i wanted to add uh regarding you know the five acres of maize that we are growing all right like i was like i said um the five acres here after we harvest of course we're not gonna you know leave it empty of course we have to do something else within it like me personally my idea i probably will be using two and a half acres to plant more trees I told you how important it is for me to plant these trees. I have mentioned before that there are NGOs, so like there are organizations that are advocating for, you know, to stop the global warming by growing trees and maintaining forests and things like that. So if you own a farm and you have, you know, planted trees and they grow to, you know, to a certain extent, you reach out to them, they'll actually pay you. For so that's another move. Although I already have a lot of trees already planted and they're still growing, but I want to keep, you know, planting more so two and a half acres or from the five acres where the maize are currently growing is going is reserved for to planting trees and the other two and a half acres i'm still you know deciding between either growing okra or some other thing so i'll make that decision when that time comes so that's it about the maize but i'm very very happy and satisfied with the results so far so that's a win-win for me right there so that's why i'm encouraging you guys to just jump right onto it don't wait any longer just go ahead and do it it will be worthwhile trust me believe me when i started this i never would have thought that this could be these things could be happening but it's happening you know what i mean so i'm not making anything yet but i'm already feeling you know the you know the speed in which everything is moving that in the near future i will be <laughs> starting making those profits i also got tractor up in there so i got all other things that i'm also planning to grow so watermelon is one of them tomato and potentially cucumber so back here as you see the tractor is working we got about i mean we're waiting about five acres so the five acres that we're waiting two and a half acres is reserved for a watermelon so i'm gonna plant nothing but watermelon on a one on the two and a half acres the other two and a half acres i'm going to split it in half i'm gonna be growing tomato on one side and cucumber on the other side so i have that already planned out that's why you have all you know what i'm saying like you have all the space here that i'm showing you right now so yeah that's all i have you know at this point so i just wanted to walk you through and let you know exactly what's going on so you have a clear idea of you know what's going on with the video and everything and i'll see you in a little bit
Ladies and gentlemen, let me present you my two original pigs that I started my pig farming with. This is a male and a female. In this case, a boar and a soul. So these two were my very first one that I got, and they have dramatically grown big, and I'm really, really happy about the work that have been done around them with the guy that's taking good care of them. This is so amazing, and I'm really satisfied. As far as the piglets, they are growing up amazingly so i am also happy with what they're doing with them so far although i'm not physically there but every time they keep me updated that is always a positive thing like i always tell you guys it's really difficult conducting things from a distance but if you have good partners people that you can trust people that can always go out there and look out for your things the same way you would do even though not a hundred percent but i'm pretty satisfied with whatever they have been doing with them so far so here i'm really happy
area that I'm showing you right now in this video is actually, remember earlier I mentioned how some corn didn't perform well? So well, this is the area. All of this empty area is supposed to be filled with corn, but we don't know exactly what happened. It's, we are taking precautious measures so when next time we we'll plant maize again, this don't happen. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really, really do appreciate it. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you have not already. And also don't forget to turn on the alert so when I release a video, you get notified. Until the next video, I'll see you all later. Peace.